This video is the first part of probably what will be two videos in which we'll cover gene expression. So this very first part is about RNA structure. So RNA structure is very similar to DNA structure in the fact that it is made of a strand of nucleotides. Okay, so the diagram I have here is a nucleotide. Now it's very similar in structure to the DNA, so this would be a phosphate. This, rather than being a deoxyribose sugar, would be ribose sugar though. Now this part here is your base. However, in RNA, you have one slightly different base. So as in DNA, you would have adenine, which normally is represented by the letter A, guanine, for which we'd use a G, cytosine, and then the last one, normally if it was DNA, it would be thymine, but because this is RNA now, we replace thymine for uracil. Now when comparing the structure of DNA to RNA, we discuss three main things. So how many strands it has. So RNA is single-stranded, whereas DNA is double-stranded. RNA contains a ribose sugar as well, instead of the deoxyribose that DNA contains. And then in terms of bases, we would have uracil, which replaces thymine. Now in terms of base pairing, adenine pairs with uracil. Okay, so cytosine and um, guanine still pair together, but with RNA, it would be adenine pairing with uracil. So I'm not going to talk about um, transcription or translation in this video, I'm going to do that in the next one. What I will talk about though are the three different types of RNA that you'll need to know. So the very first one you'll need to know is mRNA. Now I'm going to underline this in red because in the next video the mRNA will be represented by the red pen. Now mRNA, in terms of what you know from beforehand from National 5, this again is single-stranded and from National 5 level it copies the DNA. And this occurs in the nucleus. Now that is absolutely still the same in higher. So this occurs in the nucleus where the DNA is copied, but the, the, the mRNA is also found at the ribosomes. Okay, so in terms of locations, it's found both in the nucleus and at the ribosomes, and it would have to travel, um, have to travel through the cytoplasm to get to the ribosomes. So in addition to that, previously we talked about DNA having three bases, and that being called a triplet. For mRNA, three bases is called a codon now. Okay, and mRNA is involved in the process of transcription. So mRNA carries out that process and it will carry out within the nucleus. Now in terms of mRNA and what it looks like, it would normally be shown as one single long strand like this with bases along it. So as an example of a strand here, I will have UAU C, G, A, U, A, and then G. And notice there are no T's on this, there are no thymine on this, because uracil is the base that's found in RNA now. So at no point will you find a T base in any of these RNAs. The next RNA that we need to talk about is tRNA. Now again, I'm going to underline this in purple, and show it in purple because that's what it will be shown with in the next video. So tRNA is single-stranded, the same as RNA in all RNAs, and it's found at the ribosomes. Okay, it's also found within the cytoplasm floating about. Now, specifically what it does is it carries a specific amino acid. Okay, and it carries it to those ribosomes. 
And that word specific is really important. Okay, so one tRNA molecule will only carry one specific amino acid. It would never pick up a different one. And in terms of the three bases, on tRNA, rather than being called a codon, like it is an mRNA, we call these anticodons. And tRNA is involved in what's called translation. Again, this occurs at the ribosomes. Now, in the next video, we're going to talk a lot more about that. Now, in terms of a tRNA molecule, it looks slightly different to an mRNA because tRNA is folded. Even though it is single-stranded, it's folded. So normally when I do a quick diagram, it is shown like this, okay, with an anticodon that would match um, a codon on mRNA. So, for example, if I paired it with the start of this, if I pair it with this codon over here, okay, so this UEU codon, the bases that would pair with then would be A, U, E. And then this whole molecule here is a tRNA molecule, but on top of that they would often carry an amino acid. So just to show a quick demonstration that that would be an amino acid on top. So a tRNA have a specific attachment site for that amino acid and will also have three bases as an anticodon. Now there's one more RNA that you need to know, which is not involved in transcription and translation really um, for what you really need to know. All that you need to know about it is that it is known as rRNA. The R stands for ribosomal. So this, together with proteins, forms the ribosome. Now, you don't really see that in a diagram. It would mostly be a one marker question or one mark in a, an exam question. So you wouldn't really tend to get diagrams of these. Okay, so while they are obviously forming the ribosome, they wouldn't be involved in transcription or translation directly. Okay, so that's just a very brief introduction to RNA structure. We'll consolidate that more when we do the next video on transcription or translation.